Okay, I'm finally getting to this video. I'm so sorry for being gone for so long. Well, I did promise that I would get it up on Sunday. Um, because actually quite a few of you commented um, on the last video, which was cutting my baby hairs. Um, you were asking, when are we gonna get an update? You were asking me some questions. Some people said that they also tried this as well. So I did like and comment all those um, comments. So thank you for that. Um, but like I promised those people, I am making this video today and I'm going to upload it today, even though it's quite late now. It is 6.45 in the evening. I have been trying to film this video all day. I did get up too late. I think that was the main problem. I got a zero sleep last night, so I really didn't get up to like I don't know, half 12 or one or something like that. I actually have quite a lot that I wanna discuss with you today. Um, a lot of you wanted a hair update, so I'm gonna start with that. I'm just gonna start with my um, baby hair situation. So let me just pull my hair back so I can show you. Now, there were a few people who said, I wanna see how this, how this grew out. Um, and I actually haven't really let it grow out. Um, what the, I have no idea what that is. Please excuse whatever the hell that is. Um, I didn't let it grow out. I've been keeping it trimmed. Um, which honestly, after the first time doing it, it has been quite easy to keep it trimmed. I just do it every few weeks whenever I notice that it's getting kind of long. So, the sides, I actually haven't reshaved the sides because like you saw in that video, I did end up cutting myself and it's quite difficult to shave here unless you have like an actual like hairdresser um, blade thing. I don't really know what they're called, um, but with a regular razor, you probably shouldn't do that. So what I do is I literally just trim it and it could look better, but honestly, I'm not mad about this. Like. I do like how I had it before when it was shaved with that line and it just met my ear. I thought it looked really, really good. I liked how satisfying that was, but I didn't like the stubble and it's really hard to do to shave the sides without any kind of stubble. And I also tried my boyfriend's um, hair razor thingy um, and that didn't work too well either. So same on the side. Um, so yeah, what I do is I just, every few weeks, I'll tie my hair up in a ponytail and then get um, a little scissors and just pull all of the baby hairs forward, all of them. And I don't let them grow too, too much. Um, just long enough so that I can actually cut it again. Um, and same on the back. I don't know if you can see that very well, but I don't really let the back get too long either. Um, so yeah. That is my baby hair update. Um, honestly, I think once you get it done the first time, like the first time it takes the longest depending on how bad your baby hairs are. Um, but then if you just keep up with it every few weeks, it's really not, it's not very high maintenance. So I also wanted to show you my hair care routine. Um, I, I'm not a hair professional, I'm not a hairstylist, but I wanted to show you what I do to take care of my um, dry, damaged hair. Um, I have been dyeing my hair since I was 13 years old, and naturally that would cause some damage. So I have learned a lot over the years about hair care, um, specifically how to treat curly, dry, dyed hair. Um, so if you have similar hair to me, if you have naturally curly hair, naturally dry hair, or maybe you just dyed a lot, then I would definitely recommend these products to you that I'm about to show. So before I show you the products, I just wanna start off by saying that I definitely do not recommend washing your hair every day or even every other day. Um, whether you have oily or dry hair, doesn't matter. Do not wash your hair every day. 
and I know to some people that may sound gross some people might think I don't know how the hell anybody could go a day without washing their hair um, but it's actually very bad for your hair um, you know it strips your hair of your natural oils which keeps your hair healthy so your natural oils though it may seem kind of gross you need them there's a reason why your hair gets kind of oily now there's a difference between um you know washing your hair every day or every other day like the second you feel any type of oil or whatever and then not washing your hair like you know leaving it a week or whatever um so what i do is i wash my hair roughly every five days um every five to seven days now some people might think that sounds gross but it works it works for my hair type really well actually and it like i said if you have um dry curly or even dyed hair anything along those lines you definitely definitely should not be washing your hair every day because you need those natural oils more than people who have um normal to oily hair um so and i will explain to you how you can actually get away with not washing your hair for five to seven days so first i want to just start off by showing you um the shampoo that i use sorry my hands are like so freaking dry i'm sorry this is the shampoo that i use it is the pureology strength cure blonde purple shampoo um it is for toning brassy color treated hair it's just a pur purple shampoo but honestly I personally believe this is probably the best purple shampoo that I have ever tried and my hairdresser um, Savannah shout out to you um, recommended this to me Savannah from divine hair which is where I get my hair done anything that she ever recommends to me any advice she ever gives to me she's always spot-on she's never steered me wrong I love everything that she's ever recommended to me so Pureology shampoo and then I follow up with the Pureology purple conditioner Now they are a little bit expensive But it's definitely worth it and honestly you don't really need that much. I have very long Well, I mean, it's not like crazy long It's I did get it cut not too long ago. So it's like just boob length right now um but I have long, thick hair. Now, it probably doesn't look all that thick or crazy right now because I did actually straighten it earlier. Um, but naturally, my hair is like very thick, very curly and coarse. Um, so normally I find that I do have to use extra products. No matter what product I'm using, I always have to use a little bit more. But with these, a little goes a long way. They lather well obviously the conditioner doesn't lather but the shampoo lathers really well so i probably should have started with this one first actually um so this is what i put in my hair um about 30 minutes to an hour before actually washing my hair um this is the olaplex number three i swear to god not to be dramatic but this is hands down probably the savior of my hair i am obsessed with this oh. now i will say i did see and hear and read a lot about this before trying it and then i you know i saw a lot about it and i was like okay is it even really worth the hype like you know maybe it's just one of those things that it's so expensive and I thought like it might be one of those placebo effects it's like oh you know it's so expensive that it has to work right no and it's actually not like crazy expensive because this is another one of those things where a little bit goes a long way um not quite as much as the shampoo 
but you know I can I can make this little bottle this tiny little bottle easily last a month that's for sure a little bit longer than a month I can probably get about uh, five treatments out of this I would say now if you have thinner hair or shorter hair obviously it would last a lot longer but for me um, I can get four to five treatments out of this which I think is pretty good for the price and also the fact that it's insane quality insane you have to use it I don't care what hair type you have you have got to use it but it is especially especially helpful if you have similar hair to me dry curly dyed thick anything along those lines you need it absolutely need it I noticed a huge difference in my hair after trying this maybe two or three times um, so basically after like halfway through my first bottle I was like oh my god my hair has transformed it has never been so soft and also just a lot easier to manage like it's easier to style it's easier to brush it's easier to comb I'm obsessed I could go on about it all day but I'm not going to um now Miss Savannah just recently turned me on to this it is the Kevin Murphy restore repairing cleansing treatment um basically it's like an in between in between wash conditioner slash treatment so last time i was getting my hair cut i was saying to savannah that um you know i wash my hair every on average like every five days then she recommended this to me because of my hair type and also because i wash my hair on average once a week um she said that she really likes this and basically how you use it is if it's not quite time for you to wash your hair but you also feel like your hair is getting dry like dry on the ends and a little bit oily on the top which is very very common with people who dye their hair whether you have oily or dry hair it's very very common and so that's why kevin murphy made this um so typically what i do now it really just depends um i feel that now that i have this i can easily wait seven days to wash my hair like really wash my hair so on the fourth or fifth day um i will use this so basically when you're in the shower you just wet your hair you lather your entire hair in this well not lather it doesn't like actually you know bubble up and lather just soak your entire hair in this but definitely focus on the ends i would say because it is still a conditioner um so you know you don't want to put too too much on your roots if they are oily if your roots are dry then definitely put a little more on but if they're getting kind of oily um i would say just put a light amount on your roots and then focus really from like the mid section down um because if you have dyed hair or you have you know thick coarse curly hair that is where your hair is going to get the most dry um so then you just let it sit in your hair for a few minutes it says two to three minutes but you can definitely leave it in a little longer um so what i normally do is i get in the shower right away i wet my hair put this in and i just put it on top of my head like i'll just literally grab all my hair and put it up on top of my head and let it sit there and then i do all of my other stuff so i'll wash my body shave um uh wash my face do everything else i need to do and then by the time i have all that done i just rinse it out and then it, you're done and then afterwards what i do now drying drying and brushing slash combing your hair i do have a few tips that i would like to share with you um 
do not towel dry your hair. You are going to break your hair and you're basically going to reverse all of the work that your Olaplex has done because what the Olaplex does, it's a, it is, it's a bond, what's the word? Oh God, what is the word? What the fuck is the word I'm looking for? Bond builder. There we go. So the Olaplex seals in all the ends in your um, hair. So if you towel dry your hair and you're rubbing your ends together, that is a big contributor to split ends. Um, and obviously nobody wants split ends. It is kind of inevitable. Obviously you do get them eventually and you do have to get your hair cut eventually. But by not towel drying your hair, you are prolonging the split ends. Um, so what I do and what I found really helps my hair and helps me to prolong getting split ends is <clears throat> before stepping out of the shower, I grab all of my hair super tightly, right? And I squeeze, 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 squeeze all the water out. And I even put my hands into my scalp like this and I'll squeeze like this. It does not hurt. I know it looks kind of crazy, but it does not hurt. I just make sure that all the water has been squeezed out. Then what I will do when I get out of the shower, after I've dried my body, I will then get the towel and just do the same squeezing thing, but with the towel. I'm not rubbing my hair with it at all. I literally just put the towel over my head, put my hair, my head upside down, towel over my head. I squeeze with the towel over my head, then I'll stand back up, put the towel underneath, wrap it around, and just squeeze one more time. Then what I like to do is I will split my hair down the middle. Now, obviously, this is just like a rough idea of what I do. So my hair isn't actually wet and everything right now. Um, so what I will do is split my hair down the middle, get one side, and I get a wide tooth comb. Curly hair girls, you need wide tooth comb, I promise. And I got mine in Target for, I don't know, like three or four dollars, something super cheap. So. I start with the ends first. Now, obviously it's a lot easier right now because my hair is straightened and dry, but just be very, very careful with your hair because your hair is most vulnerable when it's wet, actually. So that's why when you brush your hair after washing it, you get like a huge clump of hair in your hairbrush. So get a wide tooth comb, hold your hair so that you're not pulling from the root and just start by picking through any little knots. Now you may actually need to go in with your fingers first, depending on how big your knots are. Again, depends on how, you know, what your hair type is, how curly it is, how knotty it is. But if you have big knots, just try to finger through, then get your comb and just gently comb through until you can easily pass, oh my God, until you can easily pass your comb through and then what I do is I go up to the top, no, not the very top, but what I'll do is like finger through the top like so, and then I'll just comb gently like so. And then eventually you can just comb the whole way through without it pulling or damaging your hair. Now, even though I've straightened hair, you can see the difference already. So. This is very, very good for prolonging split ends and also reducing the amount of hair that falls 
or has been pulled out. So after I have um, combed out my hair carefully, I honestly just let it air dry and it actually doesn't take that long. When I was younger, I used to think I don't have time to let my hair air dry, but it really doesn't take that long. Once you, you know, squeeze all that water out and then comb it out carefully, it doesn't take that long to air dry. Um, especially if you are not like me and you have thinner hair or shorter hair, it doesn't take that long at all. And then the last two products I want to show you, I don't use all the time, but I still wanted to show you um, because I do use them every once in a while. So this is the Shea Moisture Raw Shea Butter Deep Treatment Mask with sea kelp and argan oil, specifically for dry damaged hair. It helps to heal, grow and strengthen hair. I used to use this um, quite a bit, but then I did change up my hair care routine and I changed some of my products so I don't use it quite as often. But if I, um, like let's say I, um, I don't know, if I use more heat than I typically would in a week, I will use this after washing my hair. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll wash my hair um so i do the olaplex first rinse it out then shampoo then conditioner rinse it out and then i'll get a good big handful of this what i'll do is i'll split my hair in half comb it like i showed you get a big handful of the mask and just absolutely saturate both sides root to tip especially focusing on the ends those are the driest and then what I get is a nice gentle hair tie like this um, and then I'll just get all my hair um, and put it in a bun wrap it around and just let that sit and honestly because it is you know a natural product um, there's no like harsh chemicals or anything you can leave it in there for as long as you would like um, pretty much uh, you can leave it in there for like 15 minutes if you just want a little bit of treatment or if your hair is really damaged um, You know, like let's say you've been using heat on your hair Five days a week or something crazy like that. You could leave it in for honestly like an hour and a half um, I think the longest I let it sit was like two hours because I just kind of forgot about it like I was watching a movie and it's fine and my hair actually felt really good afterwards so just depending on how damaged your hair is or how dry your hair is let that sit in your hair and then afterwards you just rinse it out um you don't necessarily have to shampoo it out but me personally if i do put it like on my roots um which i don't always do um, then I will get a little bit of shampoo and I'll just lightly lather it just to make sure that it's all out. But actually, usually when I use this, I'll use it from like the midsection down. So you don't really need to shampoo. But if you do put it in your roots, I personally would recommend shampooing a little bit just to make sure it's all out. Um, and then you comb again, let it air dry and your hair should be really soft. Um, and then the last product I want to show you is this Nourishing Coconut Oil Hydrating Oil Mist. So basically it is coconut oil with bamboo extract and I believe it's mixed in with water or something. Uh, yes, it is mixed in with water. So that you can actually spray it um otherwise it would just be you know a little oil bottle um and i tend to use that when uh i don't know let's say tomorrow would actually be a really good example so i just straightened my hair a few hours ago and obviously my hair will still be straight tomorrow but it won't look as um as shiny as it does now you know second third day 
second or third day straightened hair definitely needs a little you know pick me up so this is when I would probably use it so what I'll do tomorrow is just um, gently brush out my hair and then from just about here down like the midsection to the ends I'll just spritz some of this um, and you don't need to brush it or comb it in you literally just spritz and then it gives your hair a little extra shine um, it makes it softer of course too because the coconut and bamboo extract is really nice on your hair especially when it's dry that is my hair care routine my hair update and all of my little tips and tricks that i have picked up just through trial and error i have been dyeing my hair since i was 13 so i have learned a lot over the years um and honestly i think for somebody who's been dyeing their hair for nine years um i'm actually very happy with how healthy my hair is and the condition that it's in and a lot of that has to go to savannah savannah divine hair um like i said everything she recommends to me every piece of advice she gives to me she has never steered me wrong so invest in good products take care of your hair do research and find a great hairstylist that you can trust and will give you excellent advice and hair care so yeah i think that's it for today um i hope you guys enjoyed today's video um and again sorry for being gone for so long i thought about maybe doing a um a life update video so if you are interested in that and you want to know where i've been and what i've been you know dealing with for these what five months that i've been gone then like and comment below and let me know if you'd be interested in seeing a life update video i hope you enjoyed today's video and thank you so much for watching